Welcome to the sixth episode of our series on mathematical language and symbols. In this particular presentation, we will be solving a problem that involves sets. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. Here is the problem that we are going to solve. In a group of 100 people, 38 can speak English, 59 can speak French, while 57 can speak Mandarin. Also, 20 can speak both English and French but not Mandarin. 43 can speak both French and Mandarin but not English, while 16 can speak both English and Mandarin but not French. Only 13 can speak these three languages. Here are the questions. How many people can speak English only? How many persons speak French only? How many of them can speak Mandarin only? And how many persons speak neither of the three languages, English, French, nor Mandarin? Before we solve this problem, let us rewrite the problem this way. It would make the problem solving process easier. This is just the data from our problem. For this particular problem, our strategy is to use our knowledge on sets and then diagrams. The first step is to draw a rectangle. We always do this when we use Venn diagrams. Since there are three particular languages, then we might as well draw three subsets. Subsets meaning we're going to draw it inside the rectangle. Let's call the first subset set E. That represents the people that speak English. This is the second subset, the, the set of all people speaking in French. The third subset, this is the set of all people speaking in Mandarin. Notice that we overlapped the three circles because from the problem, it mentioned that some people are speaking in the three languages or in the two or only one or even speaking neither the three languages. So this is our Venn diagram that we're going to use. Another important strategy that we have to apply is actually to start from the last given data rather than solving the problem starting with the first given data. Why is that? From the 38 people, it is possible that they are also speaking in other language. This phrase here is only stating that there are 38 who can speak English, but it does not tell whether some of them can speak other languages other than English. It is better to work on the last given data. That is because this data here is more workable. It states that there are 13 who can speak three languages. In our Venn diagram, the space overlapped by the three subsets or circles is the space for people who speak the three languages. So we may write 13 here because there are 13 people who speak the three languages. Other than starting from 38, where should we put 38? 38 is referring to the number of people that can speak English. Should we put here, 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 or here? We do not know. But if we start backwards, we are sure that those 13 people should be put here. Following the same reasoning, let us interpret what it means by 16 can speak both English and Mandarin, but not French. Where is the space for people that can speak the two languages, English and Mandarin, but not the other one? this space isn't it and it says in the problem that there should be 16 people there well we have already accounted the 13 people so in this area we should put three because we are trying to make the number of people here equal to 16. similarly there are 43 who can speak french and mandarin this is the space for people who can speak the two languages but not English. We have already accounted 13. There should be 43. So the number of people we should put here is 43 minus 13 or 30. 
in like manner, the statement 20 can speak both English and French but not Mandarin means that there should be 20 people in this space. If we have already accounted 13 of them, it means that this space here, this area, should have 7 people so that together it should be 20. We continue interpreting this statement, 57 can speak Mandarin. The space or area for this 57 people should be the entire subset M. There should be 27 people that are included in this subset. If we have already 30, 13, and 3, how many should we put in this space? It should be 11. That is 57 minus 3 minus 13 minus 30. Similarly, there should be 9 in this area because the number of people who can speak French is 59. The number of people that we should have here is 59. That is 7 plus 9 plus 30 plus 13 is 59. With the same reasoning, this subset should include 38 people. So that if we have 3, 13, and 7 here, we should add 15 more. Finally, in the first statement, it says that there are 100 people who are included in our universal set. So that if we count all the numbers that are here, it should account to 100 people. If we add those people who are only included in our subsets, that is not equal to 100. That is because there are people who do not speak the three languages. And how do we know how many of them are outside the subsets but are inside our universal set. We compute as follows. We have 100 minus all the people that are included here. 15, 7, 9, 13, 3, 30, and 11. That would give us 12. Let us now answer the questions. This is the simplified form of the Venn diagram we just created. First question, how many people can speak English only? The term only refers to this space. The number of people who knows how to speak English only and not other languages like French and Mandarin. That is 15. This space here. How many can speak French? It's 9. How many can speak Mandarin only? It's 11. How many people can speak neither of the three languages here? That means people that are outside the three subsets. Our answer should be well, and we are done. That is a sample problem involving sets. I will see you in the next video.